The big story there is this, Gota by Rajapaksa, who for months fueled headlines like Go, Gota, Go, has now come back. And not on a high. He's back because he had nowhere else to go. He's still the former president. He is, in fact, the former president of Sri Lanka. Once called the Terminator, his term in office was unceremoniously cut short. He was driven out of his palace and sent into exile by his own people. Gotabaya Rajapaksa tried to get an asylum in at least three countries. All of them refused, so he's back. After seven long weeks, he landed in Sri Lanka in the early hours of Saturday and he showed up in style in Colombo, dressed in his trademark blue jacket flanked by members of his party. He looked visibly relieved. Perhaps because Sri Lanka's worst days may be behind it and that would assuage public anger. You see, Colombo has recently bagged an IMF bailout. The International Monetary Fund has approved a $2.9 billion loan to Sri Lanka. This was much needed to ease the financial crisis. So Gotabaya Rajapaksa hopes it would mitigate his situation too, that the bailout would prove to be a distraction for his people. And that's one reason for him to, to appear relatively relieved. Then there's the good news on the legal front. We're talking about the cases against him. There are none now, no court cases, no arrest warrants. They've either been withdrawn or suspended, all of them. So for all practical purposes, Gotabaya Rajapaksa is now a free man. That's assuming no fresh lawsuits are filed against him. But what about the public sentiment? Reports say it has mellowed. Some Sri Lankans say they're fine with Rajapaksa being in the country as long as he does not rule them. Others say he shouldn't have fled in the first place. He should have stayed back and listened to the people. He came back yesterday night and he's a Sri Lankan citizen. And even until July 9th, even on July 9th, we asked him to resign. We did not expect to for him to just jump away from the country and go. But it is, uh, he went because he felt like there is a threat to his life. It was wrong of him to go. He should have stayed back, should have responded to the views of the people rather than leaving. No one told him to leave the country. They only told him to give up the presidency. Seven weeks is a long time. A lot can change, including the mood of a country. The question is, what happens next? What does the future hold for Gotabaya Rajapaksa? Is he back in Sri Lanka for good? Well, his team says he's here temporarily and that he's not going to enter politics again. They say he's waiting for a U.S. green card. The moment he gets one, he'll take the next flight out. His party, though, seems to have other plans. It's called the SLPP, still the largest party in the Lankan parliament. They've offered Rajapaksa a seat in the parliament. How will they do that? By making another lawmaker give up their seat. In fact, there's already, already an offer. Someone has offered to vacate her seat. Her name is Sita Arambe Pola. She's the state minister for innovation. She says she's ready to offer her seat to Gotabaya Rajapaksa. It's an offer which is yet to be formally discussed. Until then, he's expected to lie low, to not issue any statements or make any public appearances. Next question, where will he stay? In a palatial state bungalow, the images are on, on your screen, Rajapaksa will be staying at the sprawling mansion with a large security contingent stationed outside. Reports say he will be accorded all privileges of a former president, along with the right to hold political meetings. So what does all of this tell you? Gota by Rajapaksa is not done. He may have relinquished office, but he's still a Rajapaksa. It's a political dynasty notorious for pulling off stunts. Gota Baya's return could be the beginning of the next one. Weon is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.